when i was a student we were not concerned about the future of the planet but today a lot of young people are worried about the planet being under pressure why is this so this is so because during the last 150 years the population of the earth has gone up almost six times from 1.2 billion to 7.2 billion and the population also now has more needs than before all of us need vehicles taxis cars and buses and these need fuel like oil or gas and we live in cities where we need electricity and this electricity is produced in power plants which burn coal or oil and these power plants release a large amount of gases and particles in that atmosphere now let's share a question from one of the students about the consequence of release of gases and particles in the atmosphere professor my name is maria i study in fourth standard my question is are all the glaciers in my country going to melt the question was about the melting of glaciers these glaciers are melting because the temperature of the earth is increasing now why is it increasing it's increasing because the amount of carbon dioxide on earth has increased from around 280 parts per million in 1850 to almost 400 parts per million today now carbon dioxide is a gas which absorbs radiation emitted by the earth and hence is called a greenhouse gas and on account of this absorption of the heat emitted by the earth the temperature of the earth increases substantially and you see that in the last 100 years the global mean temperature has increased by almost 0.8 degrees and this increase leads to many consequences now let's hear a question from one of the students about air pollution uh, when i was crossing the road um, suddenly an auto just cr- um, crossed and so much of smoke came out of it and i started coughing even my friends in fifth standard they had the inhalers and um, the, uh, so is this all because of the pollution yeah the student is right the air pollution in our cities has gone up as can be seen from this picture where you see a layer of haze near the ground in bangalore and these are caused by emissions from vehicles and power plants in addition we also have particles coming from construction and these particles enter our lungs and cause serious lung problems like asthma today a large number of young people suffer from asthma and they need to use inhalers to ensure that they can lead a normal life now let's hear a question about rainfall from a student professor one day when i was coming back from school i it was raining heavily and i got stuck in a traffic jam so my question to ask is what is rainfall and why does it rain heavily sometimes when the temperature of the earth increases there is more water vapor in the atmosphere and the higher amount of water vapor leads to higher rainfall we have seen this in india in the last 5 years in 2005 in mumbai 1000 mm of rainfall occurred in one day and caused large disruption of life and destruction of property this year that is june 2013 there was a very heavy rainfall event near kedarnath and this led to destruction of road and floods in the river and finally the heavy rain for cause bursting of a glacier the glacier burst led to a large wall of water and mud to hit the temple town of kedarna we have clearly seen that our planet is under pressure because of the burning of coal oil and gas we can move away from this approach by looking for alternative energy sources such as solar wind or hydropower in the issue of sandy american shown here they have demonstrated that by year 2030 we can meet all our energy needs 
through renewable sources and they will contribute to a sustainable future.